Welcome to our training video to fit the stage 3 element on Atlas Copco oil free compressors. First of all, we're going to remove the transport bush that comes with the new element. Remember, this is a left hand thread, so you've just got to make sure you're not tightening it as you traditionally would with a right hand thread and you could damage the element and the bolt. Once you've removed the transport bush, put it to one side because you're going to need it later to send back the old element, particularly if you're in the Z Technique refurbishment program. Using the tools as shown, we're going to remove the drive gear. Make sure you only use the adjustable spanner on the nut as shown. Never put the adjustable spanner on the other rotor shaft. You will damage the timing of the element. And remember, it's a left hand thread. If you've never completed this service action before, take a photograph with your iPhone. It's always handy to have something to remember. Let's look at the puller tools. Make sure you invest in some good, high quality hydraulic pulling equipment. As shown, this can be a solo operation, but if there's two of you, it always helps to have an extra steady hand. If the gear doesn't withdraw as shown, you can apply a little heat but be very careful not to damage the gear. We are using an induction hob to heat the gear up to the correct temperature. Here are the temperatures that you need to adhere to for each element stage. When it comes to fitting the gear, you need a smooth, confident action as shown to get the gear on correctly. Quickly after you've fitted the gear, tighten the bolt as shown, but do not torque it to the full 250 newton meters at this stage. You just want to merely make sure the gear is fully on the shaft. Just remember, never use the adjustable spanner on the other rotor. Always carry out this action as shown. Let the gear cool slightly on the shaft and then you're ready to apply the 250 newton meters torque. Remember, you need a torque wrench that can go for left and right hand threads. Listen for the click, then you know you've got the correct torque. Please take note of these important service actions. Making a mistake at this point could damage the air end irreparably. For help and support, contact us at ztechnique.co.uk. Thank you for watching.